and welcome to living with linda i'm glad that you're here with me today we are going to cook and clean and i do hope that you'll enjoy the video and also get tons of motivation to get things done in your space so let's get right into it as you can see we are going to start by cooking one of my favorite dish which is actually fish in coconut sauce so the first thing i did was to add some salt and then deep fry it So guys, this is what we are going to use today. Uh, some tomatoes, we have ginger, we have garlic, we have some dania. Yes. Yeah. We have some dania, we have some onions, then we do have uh, capsicum. Also I'll use lemon. Uh, we have coconut cream for spices. I think I'm going to use uh, black pepper. I will also use some turmeric, uh, cumin and curry powder but for the curry powder I will not put too much because it's a bit spicy and since my kids are going to have the food uh, I will not uh, put a lot of curry powder. Then uh, I am also going to add some Royco cubes but this is optional guys it's only that for me I really love uh, Royco so I will add this to it. So I'm going to prepare the onions, tomatoes, garlic and the rest of the produce. Now for tomatoes, uh, dania and capsicum, we'll have to blend it. And guys, the secret to a delicious fish is to ensure that you use lots of onions and tomatoes to make the sauce. This will add lots of rich flavor into it. As you can see, I'm also using the dania stalks. I'm not going to throw this away. Since we are going to blend it, it's fine. You can use the stalks as well. Time to prepare the sauce. And guys, make sure to put very little oil. This is because we are going to also use coconut cream. And you guys know coconut cream can be very oily. So make sure to use very little cooking oil. Once the onions are slightly brown, add garlic and ginger and let it cook for about 2 minutes. Once you add all the spices, let it cook for about one minute. Now it's time to add the blended tomatoes, coriander and capsicum and let it cook for about five minutes or until it's well cooked. You will know the sauce is ready when you see it, it has separated from the cooking oil. So at this point, add some uh, tomato paste. Just a tablespoon is enough. Now 
we are now going to add our coconut cream and please guys note that uh, if you're using coconut cream that is very thick like the one i'm using then you'll need to add the, some water because you have to make sure that the coconut cream is uh, well cooked uh, this will take around three to five minutes so just to make sure that you add some water in case your coconut cream is very thick It's time to add our fish guys and I wish I had a larger cooking pot but anyway this is what I have so I have to work with it. I'm trying to distribute the sauce all round. So you will let this cook for about 4 minutes. I like to turn over my fish just to make sure that the sauce soaks on both sides and I have to be very gentle when doing this just to avoid the fish from separating. So once this is done, you let it cook for another two minutes. Add some dania on top just to add flavor. This step is optional guys. For me, I love the uh, taste of coconut cream. That's why I'm uh, adding some on top. You, to to Our fish in coconut sauce is ready, guys. It's very creamy and smells amazing. Now, this goes very well with ugali or rice. Personally, I prefer having it with rice. However, my kids love it with ugali. Uh, try cook this if you haven't done it before and let me know what you think. It's now time to give my kitchen a deep clean. So usually when I cook fish, I like to give my kitchen a deep clean just to remove that strong fish smell. I will start by cleaning the dishes, then I will clean the gas cooker, then we'll proceed to cleaning the counters and finally I'll do the floor. By the way guys, make sure to turn your notification bell on as I have an announcement that I will make on my next video. This will be out next week on Thursday. So if you want to be among the first people to know the big announcement, turn on your notification bell now. I just need you to... Let's also connect on Instagram at Living with Linda Ojuang.
clean the gas cooker and i know you guys can't see how greasy it is you know when you deep fry fish at times the cooking oil splashes around and so i have to give the gas cooker a very good clean yeah. I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down till I burn out. I just wanna live fast, I don't wanna look back and say I could have done more than I'm using Dr. Beckman oven cleaner. It can be hard, yeah, it can be hard when you grow up. People feel you with doubt, just start thinking about what you're gonna do now. But we only go on chance and go on life to live. And it's do or die, gotta make it count, so lose your worries. Make sure to wipe your cooker plates or at least let it air dry before placing it back uh, because if you place it back when it's still wet it might interfere with the cook, uh, the gas cooker burner. We are done cleaning the gas cooker and it's spotlessly clean. Today I'm going to use a Carrefour Antibac Kitchen Cleaner to clean my counters. Now for those who are new, not new to my channel, you guys know that I love using my vinegar mix uh, in the kitchen. But uh, on days like today when I'm doing a deep clean, then this is what I like to use, especially like today when I have cooked fish. And I like this particular one because it's lemon scent and so it will neutralize all the strong smell. I'm now going to deep clean my sink and I usually use Shadazzle polisher which you can buy from Pan Emirates. You can also use J for Vim, it works perfectly.
the kitchen is now very clean and organized and the last thing I'm going to do is to mop the floor so that's it for today's video guys thank you so much for staying with me until the end please like and subscribe I'd love you to join my YouTube growing family see you next week and as mentioned earlier i have a big announcement to make so stay tuned and baraka tell it.